Saga coming up this December. You know, that's only that's only like a month and a like week from now. Yeah, it's also the anniversary for 2G Gaming. So yeah, another yeah. reason why this is a big deal. You should everyone should have come out because. 2GG is awesome, and Congo Saga. Even if you're not a fan of Rare or like the Donkey Kong characters, you should come out anyways, because it's going to be amazing. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the last major of the PGR season. The PGR season ends on the sixth, on the 15th, with the new season beginning on the 16th. So Wait, we don't have a break? No, no break. No break on the PGR. Yeah. No break. No off-season. No off-season, yep. Then we got Naifu Wars. You know, this is to get a free trip to Congo Saga. That's so, right. So if all you Wi-Fi warriors want to have a chance to play a top player that enters Naifu Wars to get this trip, this is your opportunity. Who knows what you're going to run into? Could it be Salem? Could it be Cosmos? Could it be Meister? Who knows? Anyways, yeah, you guys should enter Ultimate Naifu Wars and have your chance to win a grand prize of a trip to the 2GG Congo Saga. Right. Don't forget there's some money involved. Oh, too. yeah. Registration closes basically two days from now. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Yep. Oh, no. Tomorrow. November yeah. 1st. Yeah, no November 1st. So, so two days. Yeah, yeah two, two days. days. Two days. Two I was days. right. Yeah, because tomorrow's uh, Halloween, so that's the 31st. Yeah. The next ad. Genesis Black. You know, I know you heard of Genesis, but this is like Genesis, but SoCal. Yeah. 192 player entry cap. With a four thousand dollar pop bonus. Wait, is that only for Melee? No. Does that really say? Um, oh, I mean, so it's split between the two events. So it's two thousand and two thousand. Right. It's one ninety two for each event. Right. I can read. Yeah. Uh, okay. The Tri-State Showdown, of course. Yeah. I mean, if you're in uh, New York, New Jersey, like New England area, definitely head off to this event because this is going to be a, a a free trip to Congo Saga for the highest placing uh, rare player. I think it's I think it's every I don't, you know what, don't quote me on that anymore, but I think it was for every like, Congo Saga character. Really? I thought it was just like, it may have if, just been if you made one of the Congo Saga characters. Right, you, and like, you obviously have to play them in tournament right, and but be the highest placing, placing of that. I thought it was just the highest one if you played any of those characters. So there was only one trip thrown out instead of the four if you played uh, DKK rule. You know, it, or it, it might be that. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like almost midnight. Man. It's late. Yeah, 11.45. 11.45. Hey, you know what? If this is a quick 3 out, we might be able to finish before uh, Thursday morning. That's not happening. That's not happening. Thursday morning not, they haven't even started yet. Uh, All right, I'm out. See you. Wait, where are you going? Just gonna put the headset Get down. Get back over here. No. No, put it back on. Bye. And there goes Javi running oh, away. What's that? I think they're calling me. They are calling me. I gotta go play other games. Because this is Wednesday Night Fights and we have a lot of games here. Oh, yeah. Which, by the way, the rest of the games were free tonight. So. All right. All right. Good stuff, Comtepo. Uh, are we gonna get. All right. Okay. And we got Strides coming up on the mic for Grand Finals. All right. So we've been seeing the Lucina a lot lately from uh, MK Leo. So do you think that he's kind of like trying to switch off Joker a little bit? Or mm. do you think he's just trying to level up his Lucina? No, he's not going to drop Joker. Like, that would be insane to do that considering how good his Joker is. It's just certain matchups are hard, like Pikachu, Pichu. Personally, he thinks uh, Inkling beats Joker as well. I think so too, honestly. It's pretty hard. But yeah, is this first certain matches is better? Same thing, like, he was using Martha a lot, but, you know, Lucina is clearly, like, much better character, so right. that's why he's going mainly Lucina here. I mean, I saw, like, uh, basically a graphic on, like, on average, Marth with Tipper will only kill, like, 17% earlier. And, like, if he doesn't get the Tipper, then it's, like, like something ridiculous, like 38, like 48 percent later after Lucina, if he doesn't get the tipper. Yeah, so. Lucina's just about like more consistent character of all, and like you know he's very he's a competitive player. He's like out here trying to win big tournaments, so it just makes sense to use the, the, best, uh, the best tools to yeah. win. So. Best character, best tool, you no know, best play style for the matchup. And you know what? I feel like in this matchup, it's gonna be. Very back and forth between you know, Wolf kind of like getting his combos and Lucini getting 
her edge guards and her spacing. Mm -hmm. Nice. That was actually untakeable with B. Yeah. <laughs> so it was unfortunate. <laughs> he got hit, clipped by that. But yeah, it's basically like you were saying. Like they both can do really well. But uh, MKLeo shows over and over again that he's like really proficient at edge guarding characters that have an explodable recovery. That's, I think that's where he's going to get a lot of his uh, kills from anyway. Yet again, here's the ledge trap and just nice. waiting for Leo to push a button and push a button he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw him get a few kills like that versus Cosmos as well. It's just uh, part of what makes Wolf so strong at the ledge because he has so many moves that can punish you really well. Go up air strings, but you know what? K9 finally managed to hit Terra Firma, so gets a nice down smash off of the up B with. And I love that, just waiting for Leo just to like take a defensive option and trying to punish it. And Ooh, a little too late there. Yeah. But I like the idea. And oh, raw wolf flash. Yeah, MK Leo did not see that coming at all. Yeah. I mean, it's not, because you don't know it's coming out, you haven't done in that situation at all this whole set so far, so much diff more difficult to react to something like that. But this is a pretty uh, good opportunity for K9. Like, Wolf can still rack up a lot of percent before he even gets the stock off. Nice, another check chase from the fourth throw, and, and catching the up smash. Yep. Now, just trying to get one more, like, straight hit in there, a bear, just anything to kind of get Leo nice. off stage into disadvantage. Nice. And then one F smash. Wow, still not enough. Well, I guess the center stage is pretty good. Now it kind of has some decent DI there as well, but this is uh, pretty good. Oh, you went for the drop zone. Nice. And I guess the tech on the counter. Staying alive here. This is really good for K9. Honestly, uh, I, I don't know. I, it is MK Leo's. So I want to say like he's guaranteed to lose this, but I would be very surprised if K9 loses this game. Just I mean, like, based on how safe he's playing right now. Nice. Yes. He kept the shield drop? Yeah. He uses invincibility there to like pretty much bully, uh, bully uh, MK Leo into the corner. Because right. most people do that anyway when their opponent has invincibility after dying. They just want to get as far away. away as possible. Yeah, yeah. So he put him in the corner and then kind of like empty hop to force a reaction. Got the spot dodge and punish with the up smash. Right. It was a good first game for Kane, right? How's the game playing really well tonight? Gotta say. I mean, definitely, I feel like when K9 is in his like top player, like, I'm going to win and be the King of Smash mindset. He's honestly one of the best players in SoCal. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy that, like, he's not ranked this season. Yeah. I mean, the one reason why he wasn't ranked last season is because he was going a whole bunch of secondaries for, like, tournaments, and he went, like, 1-2 and two or 0-2 oh for, like, four or five tournaments. Mm. That's interesting. I guess, like, he carries, like, uh, like Sheik, Wario, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like, kind of hard to justify being on PR when you have like a list of like 30 like players that you've lost to. Yeah. You know? And like oh. some of them are like little Timmy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. That's the thing, you know, Spy that definitely one of the better players in SoCal for sure. Oh. Where's he going to take this time? Oh, wow. He just keep repositioning himself for the down tilt textures. So good. You know, I try and catch uh, Leo dropping shield right there, but not going to fall for it. Gets the nice. bear off stage. I know Leo takes the first stock. Nice. I think he got him before like the start of his up B too. I just really saw edge guard. Oh, nice. No jump here. Can you go for another one? Yeah. Yes. And no, he still had his double jump. Oh, oh really? Yeah. I thought he double jumped from the ledge. Uh, I think. Oh. I guess I, I just saw it wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I he thought when he, he definitely jumped double jumped off stage. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't see close enough. But there's the up tilt. Again, catching uh, that jump from ledge. Pretty common option from Lucina. Gonna drop shield to that dancing blade. You know that that move is one of those things where like you see, you know, Mars and Lucina players use it a lot just to like kind of catch like roll options for spot dodges. You know, if you use it right, you can kind of mix up your timing and just make your opponent keep on guessing like when they're actually gonna drop shield. Yeah, that's just something that people will get better at as the game goes on. Just like timing your falling aerial to mix up like parry timing or like any type of you know, call out from your opponent. No right more tilt, throws him off stage. Going for the low recovery, but not going to find it. K9 Ooh. jumps into the back air, and you know, Leo takes the second stock right there. And, you know, I feel like Leo's just like, okay, you got me that first game, but now I'm going to do what you did to me. I'm going to play a lot more safe. I'm going to play a lot more patient. Just kind of, like, play my game and not yours. Yeah. 
they they both can play so well around like having a percent lead because they they whip punish really hard and they're just really good at baiting out their opponent. Like Wolf has insane aerial mobility, so like he doesn't really have to just like super hard approach a lot of times. He can just like jump in, drift back, like he has those great nares and everything. But down smash out of the down tilt tech chase going kind of far off stage, but uh, yeah, yeah. Like he got the tech and you know if he didn't tech it, it Leo had enough of a percent lead to like kind of go for it and justify yeah. it. But you know what, is that gonna be fatal and yeah. The answer is no, because he catches the jump from ledge with the Nair. Yeah, that's another good thing that uh, Lucina has, and, and Mark too. Uh, this is a really strong arrow to catch people when they do like neutral get up or jump from the ledge. Yeah. Part of what makes uh, Lucina's edge trapping some of the best in the game, especially when Leo is playing Lucina. Here I remember yeah, yesterday, or sorry, on Monday, at MSM Grand Finals with Cosmos, he would like literally ledge trap Cosmos at the edge for almost like half a minute. Just from using like down tilt, jab spacing, falling there, things like that. Right. I mean, it's one of those moves that like it can just catch so much space. You know, there's no hard commitment to it either, just because when you land, it basically has like no end lag to it. Yeah, exactly. All right, but this one, uh, I didn't. Can I take Cosmos to this stage? I don't remember him taking uh, this stage so far when I saw him play on stream. They pretty much went all about, uh, stadium. Okay, interesting. So now it's using the bust out the counter picks. Noah, you know, running back to PS2 here for Kano. Let's see if he can replicate what he did in the first game, honestly. He got started off really strong and just held onto his lead for so long. Ooh. Ooh, and yet again, yeah. that down smash just catching the no tech. Yeah, it's just so hard to keep putting a consistent tech chase situation versus Lucina because she can cover whatever like option you do out of the tech. Like miss tech, tech in place, tech roll in, tech away. There's an opportunity for uh, Leo to get a stock in that situation consistently. No, Leo is slow with the dark smash. But yeah, uh, Leo's just like racking up all the 3% right now, but gets, gets a little greedy, gets caught by the wolf flash at the edge, classic stuff. So can I only take a 72? It's not that bad, but I I am seeing him show a little bit more to get his low percent strings start off on a Leo. <laughs> Since a lot of it starts from like falling fair, there's a chance that uh, Leo's kind of gotten the rhythm that he wants to like fall with his aerials to start a combo. So it's a little bit harder for me. You know what I mean? Like right there, he like dashed back just slightly enough to make Canine's uh, drifting for air miss. Or K9 just finally getting a hit in, and you know what, Leo just kind of playing that like I'm gonna ledge trap you. I'm just gonna play my spacing game and just not let you go into my little bubble right here. Yeah. And you see, you know, Leo just trying to avoid all these aerials, and they, you know if something hits shield, that's a free upbeat. Yeah. Great dolphin slash. Yeah. Can I got turn it up a little bit here? I, honestly, I just don't think he's. I don't think he's playing like bad per se, just again, I feel like Leo's gotten kind of used to the speed that Kano's fighting at. Yeah. Definitely, so, yeah. if Cosmos was like kind of like going aggressive, Leo's almost doing the exact opposite, where he's playing almost just as passive, if not more passive than K9. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, again, trying to get those drift in there, it's like trying to force a cross up there, but Leo seems to have got that timing on that down pretty down pat so far. Again, gets the empty hop and those throw, but not going to be able to find a punish off of it. Yet again, just his movement is so crisp, you know, everywhere you think you try to go, and then Leo's already there throwing out his giant sword. Nice, catch the lane with the up tilt. That's definitely going to kill. Pretty solid two stack there for Leo. Like, nothing too, you know, crazy or just, like, super technical. He's just keeping it really simple and safe. Spacing these arrows appropriately. Staying like really well spaced out from where Kano wants to start like his approach. It, again, it's just like those the way that Wolf starts his combos, at least the way Kano is playing Wolf is that he's relying a lot on like these jump in aerials to catch Leo off guard and then starts from there, but Leo kinda has that baited out from what it seems. And then he also has a sword too, so if he does know you're gonna jump at him, he can just swing an aerial at you. Definitely I feel started. like with Lucina, Lucina really tests how well can you do your, your fundamentals and your spacing, you know? If 
And I feel like there's no better player in the world than Leo at doing that. You know, he's just such amazing fundamentals and like spacing to where like every option that you pick like feels like it's wrong. Because Leo's already positions himself in a way that can kind of like punish wherever you're gonna land, whatever move you're gonna throw out. Yeah, you know? that's, that's definitely true. So probably make, what makes him so strong with like sword characters, I, I feel like he, he could do really well with a character that doesn't have range. Like, as much as like a sword character is because his spacing is that good, but when you hit, put like a sword in his hand, it's a whole other story, as you can see. But, I mean, uh, it's the difference between having a, a stick and a long pole, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very impressive to see every time. I got kind of scared for Leo, though, when he got caught by that wolf flash. Luckily for him, he didn't get the spike hitbox. Oh, let's see if Kanai can take this first stock again. He's keep, again, he's keeping it really close. Oh, nice. Nice not getting uh, baited by Leo there. He wanted to see if he would air dodge after the dancing plate up and then get like an up smash. He gets a lot of people off guard by that. And then here comes the ledge trapping situation. Just waiting for nice him to trade for Kanai. Yeah. He just wanted him to land like somewhere right above him so he could just throw out that quick up tilt. Yeah, he took a stock from Leo the last uh, game like that. He was getting the anti air. Uh, up tilt from his ledge jump. But this, oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, but getting that first target doesn't mean anything if you don't get to tag on any percent. And uh, Leo immediately catching that. He did a, another kind of predictable ledge jump aerial. Yet but, again, getting that punish and just extending his combo. Now, yeah. K9 is just really reeling Ooh. and bleeding out from the hip at this point. Yeah, this is a really strong string for Leo that all started from just. Throwing him off stage and just uh, continuously resetting that off stage situation. Finally, nice, like, you know, just as you think, like, oh, I'm finally back on stage, Leo just grabs you and says, no, you're not. I'm going to throw you back off stage, throw nice. you back into disadvantage, and just keep you there, keep you in the corner, keep you in a tech situation, and eventually you're going to slip up and I'm going to kill you for it. Yeah, anyone who mains Lucina. Marth, Krom, Roy. I, I hope you're paying attention to how Leo uses down tilt to set up these kills or just tech chases because he's just been really immaculate in that sense. Wolf can do a similar thing, but his is from like his aerials and a uh, down throw. The aerials aren't as like consistent as you know Leo's down tilt, but it's there. Just all a matter of like can you pull it off on Leo? You know what I mean? Right. And, you know, there's that down tilt tech chase, and you know. Think you're gonna pick an option, and you know, you gotta, you gotta just basically hope that Leo doesn't read you. Yeah. There's the nice. there one in the back air, and clean, clean way to close it out. And yeah, that was another two stock from Parker. But yeah, very, very clean stuff from Leo. Glad to see him continue to grind out with this Lucina. Uh, and finishing it yeah. off at Wednesday night fights, mm. not Thursday morning. Yeah, it wasn't. I don't know how many inches there were tonight. I mean, I just barely got here, but good thing this ended uh, on time, I guess. I mean, but, yeah. Um, yeah, great stuff from Leo. Showing what he can do with Lucina.